pictures on the table. <laughs> and by the time she came in the next month, and they were all falling over. Yeah. Oh, you were well done. <laughs> I had no idea these little chairs would be such a hit. <laughs> all right, it's a calendar. Yeah. Happy New Year. Of the King? Happy birthday, dear. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You already know. Everybody in the family is familiar with Elvis eating my apple pie, right? You already know that? I, I don't know this story, Grandma. You have to tell the you story. You know about it? I already? don't Say no. remember. You know about it already? Say no. Yeah. Elvis came to Seattle in 1956. Okay. He was barely 21 years old. There was no stadium, there was no Seahawks stadium, no Mariners stadium. It was at, at the Rice more wine. on Rainier Avenue, six, the Six Beer Stadium. Uh -huh. was a big outdoor stadium. Anyway, yeah. a, a friend of mine was a radio announcer in Seattle. He sat on the flagpole for several days, though, so that's how he got famous. Jerry Holsinger was his name. The name is Senator the old people. Not good for he called me when I'm new because he knew I baked apple pies every day. The, the, the Amish is full of apple trees falling on the ground. That was one of my things to do was to go to the neighbors, was to pick enough apple. And every morning, as soon as breakfast is over and Elmer gone to work, I made two apple pies. And they set them on the sideboard. And then one day on the radio, he was talking about it. And he said, boy, that's what he'd really have to have a piece of apple pie right now. So I took him down a radio, an apple pie. And I gave it to him. Now, years later, when Elvis comes to town, he calls me up and he says, Elvis is going to get into Seattle, Boeing Field, at 2 o'clock in the morning. He's hungry. The guys asked him what he wanted to eat, and he said, well, I hear there's a famous place for apples, so I thought it might be a nice to have apple pie. And Jerry Holsinger says, and I know just where we can get you one. He calls me up at 11 o'clock at night to tell me that you, you better have a couple of apple pies ready. I had one. I have to go to Ebbett to Boeing Field. Your father's digging, their father's digging basement digging in the basement. So I told him, I'm going to need the car. I took the apple pie to Boeing Field, gave it to Jerry Holsinger. I did not get to see Elvis himself at that point. And he took the pie and he gave it to one of his friends. All I know is that Elvis ate the pie, told me it was great, everybody said he said it was great, and he signed his name on that aluminum pie plate. Autograph, yeah. Catherine, who's not here, conspicuous by her absence, used it when she was about four years old, took it to school for show and tell day. And I had it on my mantelpiece for quite a while. And she had it, took it to school without my knowledge or consent to show it, and I never saw that, the pie plate oh. again. But it's not anyway, a bad story. And the next That's day, sad. the next day, Jerry Holsinger announced it over the radio. Oops. Then my late, my friend Elizabeth from Duwamish fulfilled Elvis's ambition last night and baked him a pie. Now that's my story with me and Elvis. That's a good story. Yeah. yeah. And everybody knows that in Seattle except you. Well, now I know. If you ever hear it again, you can do what they do and you can roll your eyes. Oh no, we got to hear about that story again. Okay. I will. I, I will roll my eyes. That's a roll your eyes story. All right. You ever hear it again? You're supposed to roll your eyes. Oh no, we're going to listen to that story again. I can't believe I'm almost 36 and this is the first time I'm hearing the roll your eyes story. I'm not going to open it. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it home and open it. Okay. Yeah, I know. I got it. This is my life.